Well, fellas, a lot of us have been really looking forward to this. This is the Huck Red Tiger lockpick set. I got this from uh, UK Bump Case. It took only eight days to get here from the United Kingdom. Uh, the cost on this was 25 pounds, uh, which is about 36 and a half bucks. Shipping was another nine pounds, so that is another 13.50. Total cost about fifty dollars. Not not bad, I guess. Um, when you open the case right away, you can see they divided this up. It, uh, into three different areas. On this side it looks like we have all uh, automotive picks. On the, in the center we have pin tumbler picks and then on the left appears to be dimple picks. So this kit really looks like it's trying to do everything. So why don't we go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go off camera we're gonna pull all these out and we're gonna look at all the picks in each of the sections in some detail. All right, pretty good size set. I can't even get it all in the frame, but no worries. We'll get to it. Let's first take a look at the case. It's not a bad case. It is plastic. Uh, when you open it up inside, it is nylon. It's not bad. Everything is double stitched. We got some elastic here. It does hold everything in very well. Has a flap to cover up the picks, so they're not going to be falling out. Best of all, it says right there. It says Bosnian Bill right on the top of the case. Couldn't ask for better service than that. Now that probably says Red Tiger, but doesn't matter. We don't care about cases. All right, I've got these divided up into groups. The first group, let's take a, let's begin over here. Let's take a look at the car picks. Now, one of the things I did notice when we got into this is uh, the metal on all of the pin tumbler picks and the car picks are the same. So it's all some kind of spring steel. And you'll notice I've got some numbers written here because I was a little bit concerned about the thickness. So the 51 represents in thousands. It's 51 thousandths when I measured it, the width right there. And then the top number would be 12 thousandths would be just at the very tip. So what they've done is they've taken some 50 thousandths metal on all of these and they've kind of thinned it all the way down to the tips. Now they're all different. I don't know if that was by design, but I suspect it's got more to do with quality control. So they're very nice. These are um, uh, kind of hard plastic. Uh, they, do, they are comfortable. I've got to say I've got no problem with these. They are full tang from tip to tail. Uh, all steel metal and very hefty because of that very thick handle that's underneath the rubber. So I don't have any trouble at all with that. Uh, this first one for the car is a saw. I don't know. I'll be, you guys know I don't do car locks, but uh, I guess if you needed to saw your way into a car, this would come in quite handy. It's very durable. If you needed to cut up a steak, perhaps. These next two, I can figure out. These are double-sided rakes for door locks. Uh, again, these thin, they thinned them down right here at the handle, and they stayed fairly consistent for the entire length. So they're slightly different, but not really that bad. 28 thousandths and 27 thousandths. Um, this next one is a dimple. It is, again, spring steel like the others. Uh, thin down, it goes from 51 thousandths to 19 thousandths. And I gotta say, for a flag pick, I actually prefer spring steel. I think this would probably be okay. The only problem is spring steel doesn't like to bend to give you a curved tip. It's kind of brittle and it'll break. So, but if you're looking for a flag, this is probably a good pick to have. And then the other two car picks, uh, they are in the car section, but. Uh, these would work for pin tumblers. There's a little bit of duplication, a little overlap, but again, we got this same problem. Uh, a little bit of quality control goes 50, roughly 50 thousandths down to 22 or 25. And you'll notice all of the edges, if we can get some focus going, all of the edges are kind of sharp. So on this 50 thousandths, it's going to take pretty considerable effort to round all of that off. I really don't think you're going to be able to get these into too many keyways. Although it's only 25 there, by the time you get to the middle, you're looking at 35 thousandths or more on all of these picks. Um, these are in the car section. We could easily slide these over to the pin tumbler section, but you're going to notice that now we have some duplicates uh, on the picks themselves. So we're just going to put those back in the cars where they belong. I'm going to look at the, the tension wrenches for a second. These are massive. They are very heavy. And when you take a look, I know it's hard to get a scale, but just to tell you, I can't imagine any U.S. or European locks that these things would fit inside of. One of them is rounded off. This one, they beveled it on one side, but it's identical on both ends. And these other two are probably designed more for um, 
dimple locks. Uh, one's just slightly thicker than the other, but width-wise they're identical. So there's your tension wrenches. Not a lot to brag about there. Insofar as the picks for pin tumblers, we you'll notice right away there are, are no rakes. Everything that you see is uh, uh, hooks. A variety of kind of oddly shaped hooks. We have, again, with the with the width on this one, we got 34 thousandths. You got kind of a medium hook. The other one's a more gentle medium hook, but it does go down to 22 thousandths. Kind of, I actually think that one is a pretty good shape. These are just kind of odd. I think that was more for convenience of manufacturing. When we get into these, these are awful deep hooks, or at least this one. Uh, it goes down to 28 thousandths, and the other one is 30 thousandths. Kind of an odd shape. Not something we're used to. Then we get over here, and we have another identical uh, flag. And you notice the shaft is the same all the way uh, all the way down this way, but the thickness goes from 47 to 26. When we look at these, they really are almost identical. The only thing about this one is it has some kind of manufacturing artifact still on the tip there, I think. Unless they intend this intend for this to be some kind of pin in pin, but I doubt it. I think that's a manufacturing defect. And then the other pick that we all recognize would be our half diamond. It's not a bad shape, and everything's nice and sharp. Uh, it goes from 51 down to 22 thousandths. In the middle, it measures 37 thousandths wide. So you're not going to be able to get this into most American or European keyways past the midpoint. Beyond that, it's simply it's simply going to be too thick to slide it inside of there. So there's your, your car picks, your pin tumblers. Now let's take a look at uh, what is probably the real value in this kit. This These are the... Uh, the dimple picks. Now I've got these separated, or I did have them separated. We have right flags and left flags. We have four right flags and three of them. I'm going to hold them up. They are so very close to each other. And I did not measure the width on these because it doesn't matter. The tips are just very slightly different. But I would categorize all three of these as the small. And by the way, you guys have seen the other uh, video where I talk about how to improve these. All these shafts have to be rounded off, and all the tips need to be touched up in order to make them actually pick around corners. So these are basically all three the same. And then you get one that is very obviously a huge around-the-corner curved pick. So this is probably a nice one. It's going to take quite a bit of work, but I do like these, um, these very deep ones when you pick multi-locks. Um... On this side, this came bent. Uh, it actually seems to be a pretty durable metal, and these don't uh, suffer from the same type of stresses that we put on pin tumbler picks. So I would not concern myself. That's why they put the shaft very thin the entire way, because we're actually doing torsional uh, stresses. So you're really not going to be snapping the metal trying to do that. Again, we have two almost identical smalls, and then we have a very hard curve just like the other one, except this one turns in the opposite direction. So these are actually not bad. With some cleaning up, this would be a pretty good dimple pick kit. They throw in this other one, and this this is huge. I really don't know what this is. This measures 75 thousandths thick here, and it goes all the way down to uh, 27 thousand. But it's not intended as a... It, it's got a very slight flag on the end of it. I just can't imagine. Other than, you know, defending yourself in a, you know, a lock picking contest, I really don't know what that would be used for. I have absolutely no clue. All right, so let's go over the pick set very quickly, just to wrap it up. There are some good things about it. There are three different kinds of tools to pick three different kinds of locks. So you can pick car locks, you can pick, pick tumblers, or you can do dimple locks. Uh, it's got some nice handles, and I really do mean that. These are very nicely done handles. I wish... We could buy these type of handles separately and slide them onto our own picks. Very nice. Full tang, I do like that. All steel, very tough. Spring steel on this side, and I don't know what that is. It is magnetic, it is ferrous, but I don't know what type of metal it is that we're looking at. But it seems pretty tough. Um, and they got a good case. I really do like the case, and I especially like the fact that they put my name right there at the top. So, all pluses. Let's look at the bad stuff. The metal's too thick, and these will not fit into any known locks on the planet Earth beyond about the halfway point. If you want to go any deeper than that, 
uh, you better have a keyway big enough to ride a horse into. They are absolutely huge. Tension tools. These tension tools are not suitable for any picks that we know of. Other than perhaps the two dimples. The, you could use these for your dimple picks. These little Z-wrenches. I don't know what these, unless these have some specific use in picking car locks. I just can't imagine what they'd be used for. Maybe some kind of weapon or boomerang. Um, there are no rakes. Pin tumblers. I mean, if you're a beginner, you really want rakes. All they have here are an assortment of hooks. No rakes whatsoever. You're just totally out of luck. And the last thing is that, uh, you know, while they do cover three different kind of locks, it doesn't do any one particular lock very well. This is not a complete car picking kit. This is clearly not a complete pin tumbler kit and you've definitely got some missing flag sizes over there uh, on the dimple lock. So I'm going to have to give this the Lock Lab Reject uh, rating. I would not say that this is worth 25 pounds and it certainly would not be worth paying uh, $13.5 extra to send to the United States. This, I would recommend you just stay away from this kit. It is not worth your money. You're going to be very, very disappointed. Still, if you'd like to have this kit, I'd be happy to send it to you on the planet Earth. Uh, go ahead and send a comment uh, in the next 24 hours, and we'll let the computer decide who the unlucky winner is of this kit. I will not burn this one. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.